breaking news it seems like there was an article on BuzzFeed uh, regarding NPU the famous Northwestern Polytechnic University where um, uh, according to, to the, this reporter Molly Hensley Clancy, she has found that uh, that um, uh, NPU uh, is a visa mill, quote unquote, according to her, of course, and gives fake grades and enables thousands of foreign students to enter the United States each year, and while generating millions in dollars in tuition revenue for the school and the family who controls it. Well, this is an in, not an official investigation by either the FBI or ICE or any other uh, state department. It is done by a private um, reporter and pretty much usually when those kind of things happen, it moves to the next step. The government will ultimately get involved. And remember, the, we, ha we still are uh, going through the UNNG nightmare for students. Uh, our video today will cover the rights of the students. And if you, uh, you look at it here, uh, there's a video that she put in here from the beginning. And she basically uncovered a lot of things in California. She, uh, she, she basically talks about what she basically talks about the fact that the school is 99% foreign students, which is not a big problem for the way I see it because many students want to study in the United States. Now, the question is that the allegation she makes against, uh, uh, see, uh, basically, this is Molly Hensley, and she is uh, a reporter with BuzzFeed. And the, now, now she's talking about some okay look at here she said the, th the school has thousands of students but no full-time faculty and for years had made a policy that made it impossible to fail a class well the question is that i thought the government was checking on the school so uh, we should we should question the government why they are not really checking the schools because they they are they are schools that are listed under the service uh, if you can see here the service certified schools um, uh, NPU is is um, is ultimately uh, uh, in the in the list okay I'm typing NPU so I should type Northwestern Polytechnic here it is and if you search it the school is in perfect standing with the state department and here we go they are here um, they are on the list and they are they are able to issue i20s ultimately giving a chance to students to come to the united states to study now the question is uh, how much of this investigation is going to prove uh, is uh, our evidence that the school is doing uh, is committing some kind of a fraud or foul play that is left to the government to decide and for a jury to decide ultimately if there are criminal charges but the question now that we are looking at what happens to the students because because after this I'm pretty sure the government is not going to leave NPU alone and will probably come after the students so first rule of thumb as as a lawyer I always tell that to everybody who are in this situation for one if you are being approached by the FBI or the CIA I mean, no, not the CIA but ICE I'm sorry for that if you're being approached by them you should uh, uh, request that you you have an attorney present if it is a criminal matter and you cannot afford an attorney there's a chance they will provide you one but if it is an immigration matter you although you are entitled to have an attorney the attorney is not free so if you I will recommend having an attorney especially if anything is being done wrong but as far as I know um, usually when we have the situation looking at Tri-Valley and UNNJ students are, according to them were not attending classes but NPU it seems students are attending classes if you look at the investigation itself you have images of students walking in so unless they are they are not real images but it seems like they are students and they have a library etc etc now the question is how much how much is that going to affect their their ability to to continue issuing i20s that's a different question but now what happens to the student if you're a student and you think things are not going well it will be a, it might be a good idea to transfer 
or if not uh, the best is to basically make sure that you have a backup plan or because uh, ultimately if the school shuts down service will be terminated oftentimes the government uh, except UNNJ um, um, the government has allowed students to transfer their service to another school so be ready for that and uh, having said that nothing has happened yet on the government side and today is Memorial Day so nothing is, is open uh, but tomorrow we will see how the thing unfolds. In the next couple of months, uh, uh, if you are a student of NPU, you need to be ready for all eventualities. So if you need help, like I said, feel free to call us 510-742-5887. Follow us uh, on, on Facebook, on, on Twitter at Great Law Firm and subscribe to our, to our YouTube channel to get updates. And uh, anything I'm telling you today is is purely educational and my opinion you should not act or refrain to act solely on the information provided you should contact an attorney if you have any question thank you